What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Well, I should say afternoon. It's afternoon this time. We are in the 450. We've got Papa Rano behind me and we've got the Bronco behind me. We are picking it up, seeing it for the first time right now with the Fiberworks fenders on it. It's gonna look a little goofy because it's got the stock wheels and tires on it. It doesn't have the plus three Baja kits uh, mid-travel suspension on or anything like that. But uh, holy crap, these fenders are big. Like, let's just give you a, just give you a little, little close up right there. Oof, look how much that sticks out right there. Look at where the tire is. Obviously, again, we're gonna be probably out to here by the time we put the wheels, tires, suspension, and all that on there, but let's take you back, take you back. We're just jumping straight into it. Check this thing out. This looks freaking crazy. Oof. What do you think? I like it. Now, this is my first vehicle I've ever put any type of fiberglass fenders on or anything like that. Um, I think it's a cool look. It's just, it takes a lot to get it done and to get it done right. I mean, look at all the, the body lines on this thing are looking good. Again, just kind of taking a peek around here. I know there was a ton of work to make these fit um, like, like factory. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of guys, most guys that put, you know, fiberglass fenders on stuff it's on off-road vehicles they take them out they beat them up they don't really care how they fit most of them don't even paint them they just leave them white because they're going to beat them up and destroy them we're, we're hoping we don't destroy these we're going to keep these nice oh papa rano's over here shopping which one you want you want that one Thing's pretty sweet oh yeah we got, we'll take this one it's got air conditioning there you go now we'll check things out a little bit closer once we get out of here but we are in a hurry right now we have a bunch of parts we have to pick up. We gotta go see our friends over at Four Wheel Parts because well, we got winch bumpers and we don't have a winch. So Truck Guru and the homies over at Four Wheel Parts are going to be taking care of us and getting us a new winch. And we gotta stop over at Swift Powder Coat because our beadlock rings are ready. So we gotta go pick those up and it's already 3.30. We're already running like super, super behind here on schedule. We got a lot of places to stop in before they close. Okay, quick pit stop over here at Four Wheel Parts El Cajon. These guys have, uh, they've done a lot of cool stuff for us in the past. And we'll keep that relationship going. Um, apparently the uh, inner fender liners like to rub on this current setup right now. So we can't turn the wheel more than like 70, 80%. I just, just found out backing up right here. But let's go get us a winch. And just like that, we got ourselves a winch. I don't know anything on the specs of this thing. Uh, so we're all gonna learn this together, but it is the uh, Smitty Built which I've heard very good things about. See how heavy she is. Oh, she's not light, she's not light. Oh, how I've missed having a refrigerator. I forgot about this, don't, don't mind the mess back here. I haven't had this thing in weeks and I went on two back-to-back -back trips. Tell me why this thing looks like, like an old school movie car, like a Munster Mobile or something right now. <laughs> it looks so funky without the freaking right wheels, tire suspension on it. And now we are at Swift Powder Coat, a little after hours on a Friday here, but they are still working, cranking away. Let's see what we got. They got a really nice bathroom. I think everybody's in the back race shop. Okay, that's not lights, that's lights, there we go. Oh, I see the beadlock rings. So again, I've, I've mentioned it before, I think the Bronco is gonna be, we're gonna call it the 50 Shades of Purple build because there's just so many different medias that we're using to get this purple. We're gonna do an anodizing, we're doing powder coating and we're doing paint. None of which are gonna match exactly well. And I haven't even talked about, we're also gonna be doing stitching, but we'll see that at some point in some later video. But check these things out. These things look freaking sick. They're a little bit dusty in here. Um, I can already see looking on the back of the GoPro, it looks much different in, on camera, but it actually looks really close to the paint color that Jay did on the grill of the Bronco. And we actually have the Bronco now. We can actually start comparing some stuff, but these things turned out freaking killer. Let's go check out the race shop. I believe that's where everybody's uh, probably at right now. Ho oh, ho! It still works here. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Doing? I think this is where the real world gets down now. Connor, I'm gonna put you on my video, bro. Let's just do it. Shout out. What do you got? Connor Bill's so, custom man. RC car cages, right? Yeah, Johnson Fabco. Is that is that your your YouTube too? Yes, sir. There you yes, go. Sir. And he's got great hair. You can't you can't mix it. Look at it. This is when you know you got big money, all right? I mean, obviously we know these boys have big money, but when your <laughs> your chase truck is a limited, <laughs> that's that's some big money right here. Look at this, look at this, this is their chase truck. These are their work trucks that they use for their race team. And they're running limited 350s. Oh, oh, the computer on the back of this. Yeah, bro, what are we talking to the freaking? Starling. Yeah, dude. bro, that's gnarly. Thank you Elon Musk for all that. Some big money in these things. This one's brand new? This is. Getting ready to go out for, what, this year? Or next year, I guess? Racing I don't know. a thousand. Okay. Take these trucks out and we build two of them here. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, we are racing to the shop now. We've got to meet up with Zach, and we are going to start tearing this thing down tonight. We've got our beadlock rings right there. We've got the rest in the rear, and we've got a custom work for it hitch cover to match all of this. So I'll show you guys that once we get there. Okay, y'all, we have made it to the shop. Zach's over here cleaning up a little uh, diesel exhaust fluid spill. If you guys ever want to see what this stuff does when it sits on the ground, look how crazy this stuff has like crystallized and has eaten up all the paint off the floor, lifted this tile, I don't want to touch it. it. It spread over here, started changing colors, it started climbing up my Milwaukee light. My light was sitting like this, it started actually climbing up the light. On the rag. Oh yeah, look <laughs> at that rag. This stuff is crazy. I think we could sell this to like... I'm selling oh. one of the motorhomes. This is how we keep uh, the, the methane wash employees happy. We just keep this stuff in a bag. Dang guys, I don't know if I've been able to say this for one of my own projects in a long time, but Zach, let's tear it out! Did that get you motivated? No. Throw those on the ground, we don't need those. We don't need those, they got plastic caps on them. Get rid of those stupid things. We'll save these though, they might be worth something. I did actually- I watched Pottery Game! What? Hey, hey. Go, sorry, go. sorry guys. Let's go to the breaking box and just shut the room off. Yeah, right? Any of you guys out there, you want to buy the stock Bronco wheels and tires off me, just, you know, just let me know. Shoot me a little message on here, maybe a little email. My email's in the uh, info on this video. Now, the one thing I'm not too keen on is you'll see here where the old fender went to where the new fender goes. There's like, there, there, there's some missing stuff here. Like somebody needs to make a cover for this because this, this doesn't look good right here. I don't, I'm not a fan of, of whatever's going on in here. Like there needs to be a rear fender liner for these. Not just the front. Now while Zach's back there beating the crap out of the Bronco, I went ahead and set one of the beadlock rings on the wheel right here. And look at how sick that looks. Woo! Now I've already ordered the black hardware. These wheels came with this grade eight hardware. They only came with three per wheel though. <laughs> I checked every box. We did not get all 24 uh, beadlock bolts per wheel. We only got three per wheel. Uh, but again, it didn't really matter because we're gonna end up swapping these out to black. I think it's just gonna look a lot better than the gold of the grade eight hardware there. Um, Color-wise though, we're actually looking pretty decent if you mate that color up compared to the Baja kits anodizing. Like we're, we're pretty close right there. That's good. That's good. So I think really the only thing that's gonna be like kind of off about this is the shocks and the little bit of paint work that Jay did. And Jay matched the shocks. So the shocks are lighter than the anodizing from Baja kits. So the powder coat kind of matches more of the Baja kits. The paint kind of matches more of the King Shock anodizing we did, but. Is that an electric ratchet or are you just happy to see me? What are you doing, man? Going shopping? In your pocket. Damn, that almost took off a toe. We got the full crew working hard over here. Oh, no, no, you, I'll be on the pooper all night if I eat that. How is it? Good stuff? Raspberry cheesecake, where's that, man? Right? Pretty good. Oh, you gotta keep your energy up for tonight, right? Long night. That's like the anodized color on the shock. Chris, man, help, help the guy out, man. Jeez. That's a, that's a two that's a two man tool. Jeez. It's too long. Zach said it's too long, Chris. You know about that, right? Yep. Is yours a two man tool, too? <laughs> what, what are you doing? What the hell is that? <laughs> What do we these guy? I wanna go grab the Jaws of Life. Zach, don't look defeated yet, buddy. We've got a long way to go. It didn't come out, Zach. I tried. I didn't wanna take the other, the other part. We did it! Alright, we're ready for SEMA. Let's go! Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Ryan got his hands dirty. Oh, shoot. Gotta go to the other side. My boss is mad. Oh, sorry. Sorry, boss. Sorry. sorry, boss. Sorry, like boss. I was just on. I was just over here making TikToks for my friends. Nice. Jerk, this jerk it up. What is this? A shake just, weight? Just jerk it up. <laughs> Jeez. See guys, that's why I'm not a mechanic. You gotta do some compromising stuff with your hands. Sometimes it doesn't look right, but you gotta do it to get it done. You just missed out, man. We had a perfect job for you. 
We had to, we had to, we had to get the, the axles it, it, off. It was, it was like at the perfect height for you too. Now I have not shown these on camera yet. I've had the front set back. I am so nervous. This is the only part we're waiting on now is the rear set and I really, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, don't think they're gonna get here in time and don't know what we're gonna do if they aren't here in time. However, check out these super sick King Shocks that, uh, oh, look at these things. These things are so rad. So obviously King Shocks do not come looking like this. These were completely pulled apart, completely custom anodized, Everything else blacked out. We then went with like a silvery gray on the springs to kind of, doesn't really match the Bronco, but it's it's better than what was on there. And then the actual tube inside there is black. There's a couple ways you can do this, but to do it properly, like these were done, um, you have to have somebody that can not only do the anodizing, pull the shocks apart, like properly and put them back together properly, but your anodizer needs to have a laser engraver with the right files. That way they can re-laser in the logos and make these things look factory. That's like the trick to, uh, to doing this right. Otherwise, if you were just to do these all in one color, but you don't have the logos back on it, to me it looks like cheap knockoffs. Even though you spent a bunch of money on Kings, uh, if you didn't put the logos back on, it just doesn't look right. So this was not cheap to do, to have these things pulled apart and anodized but I think they look so freaking sick. I mean, just look at this. Let's just, let's just take a little minute here to just, just appreciate how beautiful these things are. I don't wanna scratch them up. We're, gonna, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna set that right there. You stay there. So, what? Why don't you grab that and bring it over here? No, I'm, I'm still playing with it. It's too pretty. Now y'all, I'm tempted not to mount these shocks. I mean, this this is some pretty sick necklace, some bling bling we got going on here. These things just look too good. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna put them up underneath. Look at this, Zach's got this side already mounted. Oh, look, look at that, look how good that looks. So sick, so sick, look at that reservoir. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm getting choked out by this python around my neck. Zach, I'm ready for you. Yeah, it's my first time with a python around my neck. Yeah, you remember the base? You remember the one, Zach? Want me just to just angle her up in there? God, I gotta do everything around here? Yeah, yeah you, got, you got that, I got don't, this. Don't let it get your hairs. All right, thanks buddy. You're so considerate. I know. Comes from having a long beard, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> it hurts. Chris, does that look right? Do we got it. We got it in right, or? Gotta see. Okay, yeah, 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 man. Take a look. What do you think? Wow. Looks good. All right, all right. Let's see. Yep. Guys, we are cruising along. Look at that. We got both shocks in. We got our lower arms going in. It's all off road world, you know. That's... Would you rather do this or an air ride kit? This. <laughs> let, me get, let me get this for you, Zach. Let me get. Let me get that for you. There you go. All right. Skid plate is off. We're. Don't, don't beat that up. We need that. We gotta. We gotta sell that. If anybody wants to buy these bumpers, apparently these are like an option that I selected when I ordered the Bronco. I didn't know. But uh, yeah, if anybody wants to buy these bumpers and the skid plate, and then the rear bumpers. What? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? All right. If anybody can top 50 bucks by means of like 650 bucks, I'll give you, I'll give you one of these. Chris, we're good holders. We hold stuff up out of the way for Zach. I go home now. Hi, buddy. You don't have to hold things anymore. I mean, if you want to, keep holding it. Hey, you gonna do my shock tuning? What? Do I get paid? Yep. You get paid, you get to tickle Zach's beard later. But later, wait till he's done. Well, guys, we have run into a little bit of an issue. We've noticed this on some other lift kits in the past. And you can see this is the uh, standard bolt that comes off the Bronco. You go to slide it in this lower arm here, and well, the shoulder there does not want to fit inside that bushing. Like, there's just, it's not going in. I mean, we assumed it would fit, so we, uh, by we, I mean Zach beat the crap out of the front one, uh, thinking eventually it's just gonna pop in, but all of that did was we just, we just got this one stuck. So now we gotta unstuck this one, sand the bolt down just a little bit to get her to slide on in. Well, actually, I guess all four, because this one, this one doesn't really go either, but we didn't beat this one in yet, so we're good there. This one should pull out. Well, that, yeah, well, that's not moving. <laughs> See, guys, we've got less than a week to do this. No, I did the math. With everything going right. What? You're thinking eight-hour days. <laughs> yeah. We got four days to build this. It's true, because that can only come after work during the week. <laughs> okay, we got four days. We, we don't got time for a stuck bolt. No, I was doing- It's not my, too late, we can just cancel this I was this doing whole thing. my best to not mess it up, and here we are. Hey, oh, Yahtzee. See guys, I work hard, I FaceTime. Say hi to YouTube. 
Where's Anthony? Anthony. What up? We're doing last minute. Wait, hold on. I, just probably talk. I don't know what camera to talk to. We're doing some last minute SEMA decal prep right now. This is the late nights. It's midnight their time, 11 our time. Why are you yelling, dude? I don't, because I'm, I'm back in YouTube mode. I yell. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Look at this. We got some little mock up right there, some back window decals for SEMA. You know, always important. You always got to have decals. Well, guys, this is as far as we are getting tonight. Look at that reservoir all mounted up right there. Front bumper is off, ready for the new bumper to go on once we get the other side reservoir mounted. Look at how good this looks. Lower arms on, upper arms on. Oh. Stay, ish, stay, kind of on, kind of on. Uh, so we got to do the axles. Uh, we're going to make a little bracket to kind of hold this inner fender well back just a little bit so it doesn't rub on that arm right there. Or, or we're just going to cut it off. Yeah, we're not sure what we're going to do with that yet. But look how good that looks. Oh, I'm so excited. The purple is coming together. My vision is coming. I know everybody thought I was crazy for going with the purple, but just trust me, guys. Sometimes you just got to trust me. I know I'm crazy. So I need sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I also forgot to mention, um, the guys over at Lloyd's uh, that did my beautiful paint work here, uh, I'd also mentioned like, hey, if you guys got time, can you like smoke slash paint the little side markers here because they just really stood out as bright amber against the black grill. So I didn't even realize when I go, went to pick that up, but like they totally remembered to do that. So that looks killer and totally finishes off the grill there, but man. Zach, only, uh, all right, so we had four days. Now we're down to three. We got this. And I haven't even mentioned, I mean, I think I mentioned it earlier, uh, we're also doing a custom interior on this last minute. Shout out to the homie Anthony, Elevated Motorsports. We're, we're also gonna pull the whole interior out, so yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that when that happens. You better put all your, your sockets in order that they don't husky toolbox over there. Start, start wrenching? Yeah. I tried earlier and you yelled at me. I tried to take a wheel off and you said don't take that wheel off. Well, I mean, I did forget we're doing the rear too. So <laughs> you could have taken the wheel off. Really no, you yelled at me, I got scared. Yeah. I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I mentioned earlier like I don't know a couple videos ago like I'm gonna start doing some shorter videos But then we're gonna bring you more videos. So here's a shorter video I hope you enjoy and that means we're gonna wrap up right now So as always thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed already Make sure you subscribe to see if we actually make it to SEMA because we still are missing rear shocks Ah, oh, make sure you give this video a like give it a like for Zach Cause Zach's over here busting his butt putting in the late hours to get this thing done, to get it to SEMA on time. Uh, don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. <laughs> Can I go to bed now? Not till you say it. Uh, roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.